Hello everybody, Realm Builder Guy here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 with uh, the Mormare, or Earl, Mergain of Ross. An interesting thing is, historically, I kind of looked it up, the Earls of Ross really didn't come to being until the 12th century, uh, as they were underneath the Earldom of Moray, but, you know, I guess uh, they decided to break this down a little bit. So, interesting thing was, uh, you see this, this, this little arrow right here? It's kind of showing where where we are. Where's Morgane? Morgane is right here as part of a raiding party. And you may be wondering, who's raiding? Is it is it the Liege? Is it High Chieftain Aid McKinade of Morate? No, probably not. Instead, it is King Constantine II of Alba uh, raiding the petty king uh, of Strathclyde and of Northumbria. So, uh, yeah. Interesting times here. Uh, if we go back to our... Who we are and where we are. Let's just unpause this game a little bit. And see what's happening. So, we're running down here. Now, the worst thing that could happen is if Morgane, you know, croaks on this little raiding party. Uh, but they're just kind of walking around trying to figure out what's going on here but there are some battles and wars it looks like you know, right click here Northumbria is in a war against Ivar the Boneless and Jarl Halfdan Whiteshirt of Yorfix so uh, that was we were just kind of doing a little bit of a raiding party it seemed uh, I haven't received any notifications to show anything that we're at war at all now remember we do have this ally um, and uh, uh, county of Algoom all the way down here Algoom in France in West Francia kind of close to the coast here um, is where where things are so anyway um, Looks like we are back home again. I mean, there are raiding parties everywhere, but uh, yeah, just uh, still still learning the game. Now, we do have a barony right here, the Barony of Gerloch, uh, Development 2, and we can construct a new holding, not available holdings to construct. So, I mean, in theory, one could, but uh, there are baronies now that you can develop in CK3. Uh, we still have decisions here. Three issues. We can declare war. Um, oh, okay. Hold on. We've got something here. Greetings, Mergame. It has become clear that your suffragan bishop is working to establish a false and spurious claim on the earldom of Sutherland. Do not think that this kind of dishonorable action will go without response. Okay, but there is a basis for a claim here. Alright, so. Oh, there's there's more. Uh, Dorian finished, find secret task. So, it's about our best efforts. Have not yet to find any secrets. Um, okay. Well, then let's, let's not waste any more of our time. So, uh, let's go and look up here. Let's just pause the game so we can declare wars. Invade the kingdom, conquer the duchy, conquer county. What does this say? Your level of fame is less than illustrious to be able to conquer that. Um, here they have King Charles of West Francia. Okay. And we just have our little count. So, I mean, they're allied. The petty kingdom of Strathclyde is allied with West Francia. Sure enough, with Charles the Bald of West Francia, but how likely is it that Charles the Bald will join him? Hmm. Now, we're not going to declare on any of the, uh, of the Viking uh, overlords here, because I just think that they'll be way, way too strong for us at this point. I mean... We've got pretty 
pretty small holding uh, and not a ton of soldiers to speak of. I mean, we are, our military strength is 212. You know, we're not really going to be able to get much of anything else. Here's our rally point. So if we do call all of our levies, um, they will rally here to Dingwall. Uh-oh. What do we have here? So, commander promoted. My marshal, Nadarhu, has been showing off a promising new recruit. May not be of as noble stock as you, my liege, but on my name, I swear that Kewen is someone you would want on your side. Very well, Kewen shall serve me. Perfect. So, yeah, I kind of want to start a war here with Sutherland, but, uh, or, uh, with, with, you know, McGillerick of Sutherland, but I just, I would worry. So Strathclyde, anyway, what do we have here? Uh, I have proud through documents, both ancient and of less certain proven provenance. I finally have found enough material to make the case that you are the rightful Lord of the Earldom of Sutherland. That is all that is missing is one little bribe. That little bribe will cost us a ton of money, but that's okay. See it done. So, we go up here and take a quick look at this young man. Let's hit pause here real quick. So, Sutherland, does he have any, any allies? De jour part of Moray, Britannia. I wonder, can we even declare a war? Let's try this out. Let's try this out. Uh, Strathclyde I was looking at. Where are we? There we are. Your claims. Now, how many soldiers? This is military strength of 547. We have a military strength of 217. So... Yeah, we're we're not going to be doing that right now. I think what we need is um, stronger allies so that we can put some pressure on him. Let's see here. Chief of Orkney. They have 630. He's allied with the Ivar the Boneless. Let's see. Improving relations, you can see his it's not not good at all. So who is the primary heir? That's one of his children. Do kind of want that land. Now the problem we have here is well that belongs to our, our liege lord. So his little son is the heir of Moray. So, expansion up north is going to be a little bit difficult. Ivar the Boneless doesn't really care for us. But we don't really care for him. Strathclyde. I wonder if we could get... He's on a war right now with Ivar, and he is allied with King Charles the Bald. 34% chance to increase him. It'll take 16 months, but we will try that. We'll try to sway the petty king of Strathclyde to be on our side. And uh, see what we can what we can build from there. Uh, let me go here. My heir. He's now 14. We can arrange a marriage. Nope, oh, something happened. The rise of the Scots. Although they share common origins, I'll get rid of this. Origins with other Anglo Saxons, the clans living in northern Britain's lowlands have adapted to life in the rugged terrain. Diver diverging culturally and linguistically from their former countrymen, these Scots have enthusiastically embraced their new cultural identity. Will they be able to thrive on their own? No immediate effects. Okay. Interesting. Anyway, we have here, that's the scheme. 
it's rolling on. Let's just pause this again. So, let's see here. Let's find a spouse. What about matrilineal? Petitional land, Vestus land. House, okay. I can't even pronounce that one. Relevance. Alliance power. 16. It was Norse. But they are Catholic. Has claims on the Earldom of Dublin in the Chieftain of Vestisland. Potential alliance, Chieftain of Vestisland. Is that, is that, is that Iceland? That is Iceland. Interesting. The Earldom of Dublin. Interesting. So, he is lazy, lustful, and paranoid. He's Norse, I like that he has claims. Liege is the chief Tess of Vestisland. They are Catholic, they are Norse, but at least they're Catholic. That kind of fits in. You know, they're not pagan. Primary heir is Prostein. Is one of the children. They all have claims here. Ivar the Boneless. Interesting. So he has some claims there. Potential islands, barony of Steia. He doesn't have any claims. You uh, know, I think a, an alliance has Fittlefaf. Flatner, Nefer. Flatnefer. How's Flatnefer? <laughs> Alright, I think. Uh, We'll go with this one. Children of this marriage will be born to House Morgan. Okay, they will be born into our house. Chance of children is medium. Uh, matrilineal marriage. In a matrilineal marriage, children will be born into their mother's house instead of their father's. The question is, I'm not sure, will we actually know inheritable traits, alliances? I mean, we get an alliance with Iceland. Let's do this. So the children will come into our, be part of our, our house. Okay, part of House Morgan. Then we have this daughter here, who's 13. Let's find one here. Gratz, I mean, these are all Austrian. Steyr, claims, a lot of claims. Claims on the earldom of Connacht. Is anything matrilineal? Earldom of Cumberland. House of Carlisle. So we'd have that one right down there. Trusting, lustful, and diligent. How's Carlisle? Is he actually the head of the house? The Earldom of Cumberland. He is not the primary heir. The primary heir is Halfton White Shirt. But he would have claims on Cumberland. 
Barcelona. Earldom of Westmoreland. Westmoreland down there. That's Kindle. Parents. Claim is there. Westmoreland. Current holder. Primary heirs. Ivar the Boneless. Uba Ragnarsson. So we'd have claims there, but I think that it's a pretty weak one. Earl of Ormond. Current holder. Sibling. So where do you fit into this? Not much. Durham. He's way too old is the problem. I do like this one here. House of Carlisle. House of Somerset. So you know what? Let's uh, let's go with this one. We'll send that proposal as well. And then do have one more daughter. She's ten. We'll just wait with her for now. And move this forward a little bit here. All right. Uh, my wife is with child, and I should be overjoyed. However, she has been acting strange, and I cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. Are really the father, as she claims, or has she betrayed our marriage? Confront her directly. I will look into this discreetly. Not eight percent that she loses opinion of you for five years. Ninety-one percent. Someone else is the father of Philibrick's child. I will find evidence for unfaithfulness. And I must be her father. Uh, the, the BV father. When are we here? We are ambitious, fickle, and zealous. And being religiously zealous, I do want to know. So let's just inquire discreetly. Gladly accept your betrothal position. I will graciously take the hand of your daughter. Excellent. When the time comes. Alliance, I gladly accept your betrothal position. Your daughter and heir will be betrothed to my son, Carl. Excellent. The deep mind of Vestisland. So, now, if we look here. Oh, suspicious, suspicious, suspicions laid to rest. It seems that my fears have not been unfounded. Despite every effort on the part of my spies, I have found no indication has been unfaithful. Unfortunately, she has found out about my suspicions. This is very disappointed in me. Whoops. Of course I trusted you all along, dear. Of course. All right, well. I can't, what else can I do here? Send a gift, sway. Could kill her. No. All right, let's let's make her like us more. Okay. So anyway, um, we have seven hundred and four. It's inferior to ours. Our military strength is inferior. To levies. Okay. It's inferior to ours. So they're saying that... Okay. So the question I have now is do we risk a war against these guys knowing that it could really, really, really backfire on us? I think, you know what? Let's have a little fun and let's try this. What's the worst that could happen, right? Uh... All right. Let's see. Inferior. Their military strength is inferior to ours. Okay. All right. Let's go.
raise all armies. Now they're saying his <laughs> All right, we'll we'll see how this goes. I am assuming it will not go very well. Military. I was kind of hoping we could get some allies out of this. Let's get some light footmen. Create. All right. Now what? Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see about this, okay? <laughs> All right. We'll see how this goes. Uh, odds are not very well. Here's the battle that uh, we are going to lose, I strongly assume, just because they have the superior numbers, even though I was told their military would be inferior to ours. And here we go. It is time to lose. Okay. What do we have here? Whoa, a lot going on, a lot going on. Our champion was slain. All right. Uh, with a tired yet blissful smile, Hildeberg presents you with a perfect little son. Gerhardt. A good, there you go. Nat Frech. So let's go with Wolfheart. So it's, looks like we lost. That's not good. Uh, learning lifestyle. So we had someone die. And we have perks. Unlock boons that may provide. Okay. Still learning this, so... We'll see. So either way, not good. We lost. And uh, I was told... See, I was, this was against my better judgment. But we'll, we'll kind of see, see what happens here. Um, yeah. Trying to understand everything here. Defeat. Dismiss that. Available perks you can unlock. Okay. So let's try to figure this out. Fender of the Faith. Unlock. Tyranny gain, faith. Alright. Interesting. Empty Council. So my Chancellor. Uh, diplomacy. This is really... Okay, let's recruit him to the court. Okay, so... Oh, so he's dead. That's great. Was killed during the siege. Alright, next! <laughs> Oh, this is just going, this is going great. First war. Boom. Free once more. Your My youthful son and heir, Wolfhart, has been released from his imprisonment. To be abhorrent, may your years be short, miserable. Your ill-conceived war was doomed from the start. I agree to put an end to your folly and accept your surrender. So be it. So what does that mean? Um... Proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. So my daughter is now come of age. So betrothed can be married. 
Send a proposal for the marriage. So the marriage is done with Iceland. And the war was over. Disband our armies. And uh, yeah, that was that was the end of our first attempt <laughs> attempt at war. And it did not go well, um, to say the least. So he hates our guts. And that's the end of that. Let's see, what decisions, what issues? We are in debt. Yes, I, I understand we're in debt. Low country control in Ross. Ask your head of faith for gold. So the Pope will give us money. Yes. Let's take the money. Nice. I will use the wealth wisely. Perfect. Um, so we've lost our opportunity here for war. But uh, it was it's a learning experience. It's a learning experience, right? So uh, let's go to the council. And... Foreign affairs, domestic affairs. Let's go with that. Steward is collecting taxes. Increase control. Let's. We need more control in our own county. There are not enough sheriffs to handle all the territory. Okay. Well then. Uh, offer war g murder scheme. Where are we here? Sixteen percent. Yeah, no. That is not going to work. Disrupt schemes. Support schemes. Let's find some schemes. All right. So, still trying to figure this one out. Maybe this wasn't the right, <laughs> the right one to start with. But we've got we've got some good marriages running. We're slowly but surely trying to build a little bit here. Bleeding out. I am specking the barracks infirmary. When a severely injured soldier is brought in, he is losing too much blood. Where's the physician? The healer is nowhere to be found. A chill runs down my spine. It might be this man's only hope. Suddenly, as if stepped out of thin air, Chief Disorder of Vestisland is at my side. She rolls up her sleeves and looks at me. Hand me a tourniquet. Our patient screams and thrashes. You have gained the loyalty hook on Albin Glashu. Even though three grown men weigh him down, every step of the way is a battle, but Chief Disorder Odor remains calm, and eventually a quiet focus settles over us. I'm not sure how we manage, but in the end, it seems like the soldier will live. Awesome. Uh, we are now friends. Fantastic. And Albrain Glashu has joined the court. So, needless to say, war is not our friend. But the chieftain is. Chieftess, chieftain, chieftess is. So, uh, we've got a truce with Sutherland until 874, so that's four more years. I, I do want that land, but just don't think that's going to happen. Um, Moray, the high chieftain, still going strong. He's got claims. You know, the, the key thing is here... Is, oh, call to war. To the Amico Mergain, I call to honor our alliance and join me in the West Icelandic conquest of the chieftain of Austisland. Okay, so the other half of Iceland. All right. Allies. Chieftain. Effects on you joins West Icelandic conquest of Ostisland. Effects on Chieftress the Deep-Minded. Well, we kind of have to accept this. On decline, loses 10 opinions for 10 more to reject call an offensive war. All right, let's, let's accept this. And uh, I think, I wonder if we can even, I mean, God, Iceland's really far away. But if we can raise our armies and go up there, 
and make it up there. I mean, she has 470. How many do these guys have? 153. All right, well, let's raise our armies in winter. And we'll land right here. So uh, that's that's the goal here. Uh, another daughter has come of age. Fantastic. Trait Midas touched. Stewardship plus eight. Fantastic. All right, we can betroth Mary. We will send a proposal and get this marriage done. All right. So I have come across a book describing how ancient monastics used trances and visions of ecstasy to commune with heaven. It seems a strange practice in our modern age, but perhaps there is something to be learned from them. I wonder what happened if I imitate their practices. Mystical. What do other texts say? All right, we'll go with that. Greetings, fantastic. The marriage has been completed. And off we go. Mystical knowledge. The more I dig into the ancient texts, the more I discover. Could the mysterious practices of the ancient monastics predate even Christianity itself? I seem to have stumbled across something remarkable. This is teaching me so much about my faith. Yes. Learning perk available. Theologian, I am now unlocked. I am fantastic. The trait of theologian, learning plus 30, piety plus 20%. You know, we may suck at war, but my god, are we holy. <laughs> uh, where, where are our troops? These are, oh, this is our, our first army of Dingwall. I love that name, don't you? Dingwall. We will land up here in Iceland. Let's go a little faster, because there's nothing quite like a springtime war in Iceland. All right, we will pause right here. I think this is a great place to stop um what i will do is i will command this army to march and i think in the next episode here that's perfect place to stop we will continue the war in iceland because of course we couldn't battle and win a war right across in scotland so we had to go all the way up to iceland so anyway i hope you're enjoying this if you are please Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new not to miss any Crusader Kings 3 content here. I am Realm Builder Guy, and I will talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.